Hey guys, it's Tim. I'd like to show you an interesting problem I ran into and how I was able to get it fixed quickly. Uh, in this case, the vManage self-signed web server certificate was about to expire. And it's not really possible in vManage to generate a new self-signed cert. So instead, I just quickly generated a new cert and installed it with a much longer expiration date. Now it's not the same as the cert for the fabric. This is just the cert for the web server that the vManage is running. Um, just for access to the vManage. But if you get to this point and it is about to expire, uh, the vManage starts warning you about the impending expiration. And um, you may not, if it does expire, you may not be able to get in and fix it. I'm not 100% sure on that. I didn't let it expire. Um, so I'm not 100% sure that that's true if the, the server certificate does expire, uh, whether you can get into the web to fix it, because you will need GUI access to the web ser server to actually fix this problem. Uh, partial credit for this fix does go to Brad Searle. Um, he has a blog on how to create a Viptela lab, and I, I used that and some of those the commands in there to just help me get the cert up and, and fixed quickly. Um, this was, again, for a self-signed certificate. If I was using an enterprise root CA or even an automated, say, Symantec or DigiCert, uh, signing, I would I wouldn't really need to do that. The procedure would be different. So, but for your labs um, or for your own environments, you know, this might be useful. So let's see what this looks like and and what what the problem looks like, and then see how we can fix it. So here we can see that the expiration date for my web server certificate is November fourth, which is less than a month away. VManage is already showing an error message when I log in, asking me to update the certificate. I'm going to copy the details of the current certificate, because I'll just be using those same values when generating a new certificate. So let's go into the certificate, and we're going to grab all of the details that we're going to need to generate a new CSR certificate signing request. What we'll do now is we'll just copy out that information so that we have it handy. And then the next thing is to generate a certificate signing request for the vManage web server. So referencing the data that we just grabbed, we're going to fill in all of this, all of these fields, uh, the common name, the organizational unit, organization, city, state, and of course, country. Go ahead and type this in now. And in our case, we're going to set the validity to three years. And go ahead and submit that, which should give us uh, a block for the certificate signing request. Now we just have to grab that, copy it out, and we will be ready to move on to the next step. All right, so the next thing we're going to need to do is log into our vManage via SSH so that we can paste the CSR we copied into a file. Now to do this, we're just going to log into our terminal or however it is, PuTTY, whatever connection uh, utility that you're using, log into the vManage, and then we're going to drop into the vShell. And from the vShell, we actually just have uh, like a Linux shell here. So we're going to use uh, the vim command, which is a text editor, and just edit a vManage CSR file. If you haven't used vim before, um, you just need to use insert to so that you are able to paste. And you can just right-click and paste, and save by hitting uh, colon or escape colon W Q and then a bang, and that tells it to write and quit immediately. Let's make sure the file is created. Well, here it is. And now the next part. For this next part, I'm going to be using some of the material from Brad Searle's blog, specifically the Open SSL stuff. So. I'll go ahead and type in the OpenSSL commands and I'll explain them. Here we're going to create on the vManage a root certificate key. 
So that's the very first thing. We're going to create a private key so that we can go ahead and create a root certificate itself. So the next step, now that we have a key generated, is we can now go ahead and create a root certificate for the vManage. So I'm just going to type out the details here. You'll notice that here I'm flagging the key to use as the private key that we just generated, rootca.key. And I'm saying it's good for 2,000 days. And we're going to spit out a certificate. So now I'm filling in the country code, the state, uh, the city, organization, so on and so forth. This is the same information that I took out of the vManage originally when we generated the CSR. So I'll just go ahead and finish putting this information in here. Okay, and let's go ahead and check and make sure that we got what we needed. Yes, rootca.pem, that is our root server certificate. And then we're going to need that to sign the CSR that we generated from vManage. Next step is actually to do the signing. So let's go ahead and take the request in. The request we're going to sign is going to be the vManage CSR that we pasted in uh, just a minute ago. We're going to use the certificate, the root server certificate we just created. And the key, the private key, is going to be the private key we generated. Going to create a serial, that's just part of the process. And we're going to spit out a new signed certificate for the vManage. So let's see, called vManage new.cert. And make this good for, I think, five years or something like that. And lastly, pick the algorithm. If it's successful, it says it's OK. We check. We have our new certificate. The last thing is to take this certificate and put it in the vManage. So let's just go ahead and do a cat on it, which is going to print the contents. We'll copy the certificate contents. This is the signed certificate. And now we have what we need. Let's go back to the vManage and go to certificate and then over to import because that's what we're going to do. We're going to import a new certificate. And in this box, we're just going to paste the signed certificate. And then click Import. If all goes well, we get a green box at the top that says the certificate installed successfully. Now, this isn't being updated in real time. We actually need to go to a different web uh, site or part of the vManage. And so we'll just go back to the dashboard and then we will go back and check the expiration date on our certificate again. Let's go back to settings. And you can see our new web server certificate lasts until 2025, which is what we wanted. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.